Greetings and salutations, everyone, and welcome back to Rimworld Ascension, episode 45. If you enjoy this episode, please remember to like and subscribe, and as always, mod list is down in the description. And with that, let's get into the episode. Now, last we left off our beautiful city here, uh, we just beat back a raid that was honestly pretty sad. Everything's on fire, and there's a fungoid ship over here that we need to get rid of before it becomes too much of an issue. But before we can even think about dealing with that, we need to put up these fires and, more importantly, tend to everyone because everyone is injured. So that's going to be interesting. We have a lot of shotguns and even more corpses that we now have to deal with. We also have to deconstruct these walls again, as well as remove the roofing here again. More importantly though, we do need to put out the fires, that's the most important part. And also get all of our cows brought back into the base. Alright, how is our new prisoner? Four hours until death. Where is Jaleel Jaleel Hen? I do not believe that you can do doctoring. No, you cannot. Alright, I think we're going to need to build a temporary steel wall here. Just so we can get it up quick. And we can get our cows back in. We're going to change the child schedule to anything. And just, uh... Let him do whatever he wants now. I had him set on recreation to follow around, but I figure I can use him to help haul things. Especially since we have all this this stuff are just around here that needs to be hauled in general. Uh, Calhan, I'm gonna be honest. I want you to focus less on wardening and focus more on constructing. Uh, Michael has become neat and has fallen into a catatonic state. Well, that is unfortunate. You know what, let's go ahead and not rebuild these, uh, walls for the, uh, barn out of wood again, and we will rebuild them out of slate. Just so that they are uh, not as flammable. Oh, it looks like you might die to the flu. Jaleel completely forgot to tend to him. There we go. 42% tend quality. Hopefully that is enough. I don't think it is. Uh, apparently Maze has decided this is the perfect time to plant rice. It is in the middle of a blizzard. What is going through that guy's head sometimes, I wonder? Alright, well, let's, uh, instead of having him do that, let's have him go ahead and till this soil. Get the child to go ahead and refuel the heaters. We'll get Cal Hunt to actually go rebuild that one. Oh, an art patron. Lovely. We have stuff we can sell them. Oh. A bunch of people caught malaria! Uh, lovely. Oh, Jaleel caught malaria. Wow, our doctor, our best doctor, and our other doctor is currently out for the count. Jaleel. Jaleel, I'm gonna need you to self-tend. Oh, I accidentally have Latch set to not use good medicine. Let's make sure he uses the medicine. Oh, and it was someone's birthday. It was May's birthday, and now Maze has a frail back. Lovely. Oh, because nobody is rescued, Pernum, they're suffering from severe malnutrition. Actually, most of these guys are suffering some pretty severe malnutrition. Probably because we have no food. Hmm, the prophetic structure, huh? Oh, the sovereignty of Urson, hmm? Let's see here. 
All that gives me is goodwill. And you want me to spend 4,288 stone blo- I don't even think- Yeah, we don't even have a thousand. So we can't do that even if we wanted to. Talk about an impossible ask. Ah, we have finished gas extraction. And we'll now begin researching how to build an air conditioner. Very good. But this is... This is very good for us because now we can build this stuff. Which will be very nice. So we should be able to build this right there. And then we can run a pipe network over here. It'll be glorious. But the first thing we have to do before we can do that is... Uh, actually set up a way to get over here safely so we're going to be reinstating this choke point because we need a way to get back and forth you know what let's go ahead and set up uh, a plan so that we can we can see exactly well you can see exactly what i'm thinking let's use this planning tool so that we can actually see so we're going to go ahead and plan this out. So I'm thinking something like this, where each of these protrusions can house turrets, soldiers, whatever we need. And then the rest of it can just be a wall. Although this part is bothering me slightly. There we go. That's a bit better. Now, of course, this is all subject to change depending on, you know, circumstances. But, these should provide optimal firing arcs. But they look bad, so I don't... You know what? We're gonna scrap that and we're just gonna build a wall. Sure, it could be efficient, but I'd rather have something that looks not like garbage. There we go. That's better. That looks more like the rest of the si rest of the city. We'll go with that. We can figure out how to put turrets in it later. And then of course the wall will run up along here. We don't really need to plan that. The wall will run along here. Again, don't really need to plan that. And then we'll have a choke point here. Like so. Really, this is the only wall we needed to plan out because it's the only one that doesn't really follow any of the natural features that we have around here. We do still need to go deal with that as well. And I would deal with it right now, but everybody who I want to go deal with it is kind of, you know, super sick and dying. Yeah, we also now have to replenish all of our hay grass. That all got burned. Which, to be fair, they got burned because of, you know, my foolishness. So, it is my fault. Somewhat. Oh boy, a high-level psychic drone nail. Those are always fun. And we have converted Pertum. Who I believe we were going to recruit. High medical, high plants, likes mining. Sounds to me like a quarry worker. So we will go ahead and recruit you. How's Latch doing against the, uh, against the malaria? You know what? I say he's doing good enough to go do combat. Let's grab everybody who we're going to send out to do combat. Which is all of these fools. And just have them all gather up out here. Our animals have not yet been trained to do the murder. So they will have to stay in the base. Oh, we've almost researched air conditioning as well. Also, I already know the next one I plan on going for. We're going to be rushing Trench Warfare, which will require us to do all of these. 
All of them are things we want to do anyway, though, so we're not really losing anything. All right, uh, Calhoun, you want to take a pot shot at that while we wait for everybody else? Come on, hit it with your musket. Actually, how much di you have dynamite. Go ahead and get close with the dino. Like right up there. There we go. Perfect. I see nothing wrong with this plan. Let's get our two shotgun wielding terrifying our two our two chain shotgun guys up here to support Calhun. Should something nasty pop out of it like last time. Get our melee guys up there with their assault pistols. Which I believe are actually the longest range weapons we have here. Uh, Latch, you're going to straight up stand right in front. You're going to stand off on the side with your musket. Kata is taking his sweet time getting up here. Alright. Musket man. Fire. Alright, we got three of them. Throw the dynamite right there. Dynamite out. How did you miss with dynamite? Kata. You gonna... Oh, you're wearing a shield belt. That's right. Throw the dynamite. We're closing the distance. Alright. Kata, move up. Stab. I forgot these things are, like, remarkably durable. But they're very vulnerable to being lit on fire, if I remember. All right, stop with the dynamite, switch to musket. Light them up. The weir has gone jailbreaker. Calhun, do not let him do that. Stop him. Stop him. Thank you. How are we doing on that rot stink exposure? Minor. Alright, start falling back. Don't... Don't let him get you with it. There we go. Lit him up. Shoot him. Shoot him. Don't let him get close. Yeah, why are you not burning? Alright, that's out of ammo. There we go. Okay, problem solved. Uh, you want to move up and try to Molotov the shack? I'm um, going to need your dynamite, Calhoun. Going to need your assault pistol. You can go back to base. You can go back to base. Uh, Michael, you can come over here. Pretty please. Kata, did you decide to seriously stop right next to the fire to eat the food? You know what? You do you, man. Alright, we're gonna try to light it on fire while hucking dynamite at it. And shooting it with an assault pistol. And a chain shotgun. We're sieging this thing down. Kata, caught. Well, we're gonna have to uh, go steal some lungs. Kata, stop eating in the long run. Well, it's a, it's a good thing I happen to have uh, two slaves who won't mind if I uh, harvest a lung each. Pretty sure this one's actually a pig, so they can just regrow their lung. So we will unfortunately have to take David's lung, but Pi can regrow a lung, so we can just steal their lung long once it regrows we're the good guys also i don't think you're actually achieving anything with your dynam with your molotovs you just shoot it dynamite's certainly doing work though all right you're out of ammo you're out of ammo just keep hucking dynamite hey there we go Advanced components, plasteel, and all the other goodies. 
latches, throwing a tantrum on the wall. All right. Uh, now the problem is I don't think we have any medicine to steal the to steal the lungs, and we're gonna need to steal the lungs quite quickly because, well, the lung rot will kill. Uh, speaking of which, we can actually we're actually going to need to also uh, remove Kata's lungs. We're gonna start with the left lung, uh, and that will take priority. So we're actually going to have Jaleel immediately remove that lung. Just to uh, prevent it from getting any worse. Alright, we have successfully removed one lung that is affected by lung rot. And we'll tend the other one. Help slow it down. Buy some time. If treated properly, the body's immune system will eventually clear it out, but uh, it's a, it's quicker to just remove the lungs. So we will try to tend to that one. If it gets too bad, though, we will need to remove it. Ooh, cargo pods. What'd we get? Food? That's not food. That is industrial grade special ammo. So I guess we're going to be using a lot of flashbangs. And with that, I think I'm going to leave this episode here. We're going to need more medicine. We need to steal a bunch of organs. So that is going to be interesting. We got rid of the fungus ship, though. That's all that matters. We are not dealing with that again. Built some houses, made some clothes, and mostly, though, we just dealt with a bunch of mental breakdowns. And uh, hopefully that doesn't continue next time. So with that, if you enjoyed this episode, please remember to like and subscribe. And I will see you all in the next episode.